This is CBS 42 News at 6. Manufacturing jobs make up 13% of Alabama's workforce, and with more companies coming into the state, the demand for manufacturing jobs is growing. Tonight, State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson is inside a program where there is more skilled workers coming out of this program right here in Alabama. The people running the workforce development program here at Trenton State Community College say there will always be a need for manufacturing jobs, but the challenge is finding people interested in those types of jobs. Angela Goodwin has been in the welding program at Trenton State Community College for three semesters. I've been around a lot of welders and I like what they do. But what you don't see in this welding class are other women. It is a gender gap, but um, you know, now it's, it's growing more. You know, I'm seeing more females coming in, you know, trying to register. October is National Manufacturing Month, but for instructors at Trenum State Community College, training for these jobs is year round. We got a lot of uh, tier suppliers here in Montgomery that supply Hyundai and Kia and some of the automotive industry. Michael Barnett is one of the program coordinators. He says a lot of times they get students who have gone to four-year institutions. And actually what they're doing, they're trying to upgrade their skill set. Wednesday also happened to be manufacturing day at Trenum State, and the college invited this group of students to come in and essentially get their hands dirty. More importantly, uh, give them some career uh, opportunities to explore. Uh, to learn about the for potential uh, e economic impact, money they can make. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.